Suspense plus exploration plus tomb robbery plus husband-in-law, a mysterious profession that has been passed down for hundreds of years, bone picker. A sect that has long disappeared from the river of history, the White Lotus sect. Li Ma Bai, an abandoned baby who was abandoned in the cemetery right after birth. A little dot known history of the martial arts world and a treasure map divided into three parts. The story begins with a bone picker picking up an abandoned baby in the cemetery keywords of the novel. No pop dot up window for the bone picking heavenly master, download the complete collection of bone picking heavenly master txt, and read the latest chapters of bone picking heavenly master. Chapter 1. Living Dead. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Living Dead As soon as I left, I was abandoned in the cemetery of Fusho Garden and cried all night in the cold. The next day when I was discovered, my whole body was swollen and bruised, and my whole face was purple-black. I remained motionless and looked like a dead baby, except for a breath. The employees of Fushriwan said that I couldn't survive and dug a small grave on the spot, preparing to bury me. Fortunately, I was stopped by the bone picker Li Fuxing who rushed over, who saved me and decided to adopt me. They all said I was a dead child who crawled out of the grave and advised Li Fuxing not to adopt me, saying that adopting me would bring disaster to the entire village. Li Fuxing disregarded dissuasion and said, Heaven will not destroy my Li family. After speaking, regardless of the situation, I picked up the cardboard box containing me and went home. On the night I was picked up, the entire village was filled with the cries of babies, but that night I didn't cry at all. That cry wasn't mine. The next day, the chickens in the village began to be infected with chicken plague, and within three days, all the chickens in the village died. Everyone pointed their fingers at me, but due to my grandfather's prestige, they didn't say it clearly. But every day when the door opened, there were dozens or hundreds of dead chickens piled up at my doorstep. The dead chicken corpses are still covered with stones and paper strips. On the first day, it was written. These chickens will be adopted by you to make up for this dead child's health. The next day it was written. This dead child is eating all the chickens in the village. Are you going to start eating the villagers? On the third day, it was written. If we don't send the spirit baby away, we'll kill both of you. My grandfather had no choice but to take me out of the village house and move to an empty tiled house halfway up the mountain. It's obvious that the village can't accommodate me anymore. I haven't torn my face yet. When I do, it won't be easy to end. And if we don't move out, anything strange happening in the village will be on my head. On the day we moved up the mountain, it started to rain. It rained continuously for half a month, causing flash floods and floods. We were halfway up the mountain and did not suffer any disasters. The village located at the foot of the mountain has suffered, with dozens of houses washed down and even the ones that remained submerged in water. The crops have not been harvested, almost all poultry have been washed away, and even several cows have been lost. The fish pond in the village was washed away, and all the fish ran away along the water. There were also those who raised cattle frogs, all of which were washed away and suffered heavy losses. This account has fallen on me again. The whole village rushed up the mountain to settle accounts with my grandfather, asking him to send me away. It's better to kill me, or we can both get out of the village together. Grandpa took out all his savings and asked everyone to go back to the village to save themselves after the disaster. He said he would give everyone an explanation later. At my full moon, a lot of luxury cars suddenly arrived in the village, blocking from the village head to the village tail, from the foot of the mountain to halfway up, and blocking at my doorstep. Those villagers have never seen such a battle before, they are all dumbfounded. Originally, my grandfather spoke to the outside world and found five feng shui treasures as a betrothal gift at the cost of the popularity of the Li family's five generations. He was looking for a full dot moon baby girl to be engaged to me. And it's not one, it's five. Because my five internal organs have been invaded by the five devils, and the five devils have taken away the fetus. These five devils have the attributes of gold, 
wood, water, fire, and earth, as well as the five elements. So five in-laws with different attributes are needed to suppress the five Shah. The people who came here were either wealthy or wealthy, some in the industry, some in business, some in official positions, and even celebrities in the entertainment industry. Almost all the people who could rank high in the provincial capital came they knew the value of the Feng Shui treasure land that the Li family had spent five generations of popularity searching for, which was rare and could not be bought for any amount of money. Some Feng Shui masters spend their entire lives searching for nothing. As a family of bone pickers, the Li family is well dot known for its reputation and influence in the industry. As a bone picker, on the surface it may seem like helping others pick up bones, but the most powerful thing is to search for feng shui treasures. The Li family has a family rule that every bone picker in the Li family must find an excellent feng shui treasure trove in their lifetime, deny being allowed to enter the ancestral temple after death, and be removed from the family tree. This kind of feng shui treasure land is coveted by many wealthy people. As long as they bury their ancestors' bones, their descendants will surely become wealthy and prosperous, achieving great success. But the Li family cannot be buried, because virtue is not worthy of position, and there will be disaster. Without a person of great virtue, burying them in such a precious land not only fails to protect future generations, but also causes them to suffer backlash. Mild cases can lead to men robbing women and prostitutes, family wealth being scattered, and severe cases can result in the loss of offspring and the downfall of the family. The green dragon sets sail, the golden rooster nests in its nest, the withered wood is in spring, the dragon returns to its ancestors, the inkstone and pen holder. These are the five feng shui treasures that the Li family's five generations have found. If any of these five feng shui treasures are sold, he will have a worry-free life. But now that you have met me, you can only exchange these five feng shui treasures for in-laws. Coincidentally, these five feng shui treasures happen to be one gold, wood, water, fire, and earth each, corresponding to the five families that need to be married. Finally, my grandfather Li Fusheng selected five of them. These five families have the surnames Jin, Li, Wang, Di, and Shi, respectively, corresponding to gold, wood, water, fire, and earth. The five families arranged a marriage agreement with my family on the spot, and there was an agreement. It doesn't mean that if I have five marriages, I can marry five wives. But it was agreed that on my 18th birthday, the five families would come over with their respective daughters for me to choose. I chose one of them to marry, and the other four would dissolve their marriage and restore their freedom. It's strange to say that since I arranged these five marriages, the village has returned to peace and there have been no more unusual incidents. This is the explanation my grandfather gave them. After the engagement, my grandfather pasted five wedding books on top of five bedboards and spread them on a brown mat, so that I could sleep on the wedding books in the future. After posting the wedding letter, he sighed and said, I hope these five girls have strong enough lives to withstand these five ghosts, and I also hope our grandfather and grandson have strong enough lives to withstand you until you are eighteen years old. At that time, I was still young and didn't understand what grandpa's words meant. It wasn't until I became more sensible that I realized why my grandfather said that, because not only were there five ghosts in my body vying for my body, but I also had no lifespan and could die young at any time. According to my grandfather, I am just a living dead person. End of this chapter Chapter 2 Grandpa's Last Words You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Grandpa's Last Words If I want to survive, then I must borrow longevity. There are two ways to borrow one's life, one is to borrow the life of the living, and the other is to borrow the life of the dead. But borrowing the lifespan of a living person is harmful to heaven and justice, damaging in virtue, and belonging to the realm of evil and evil. Although my grandfather knows some of these techniques, he cannot do them. So the remaining way is to borrow life from the dead. Perhaps many people don't understand, where does a dead person have a young longevity? Yes. Many people, even though they may not have reached the end of their lifespan, 
have lost their vital signs, but they are not dead, but rather like vegetative beings. Their family thought they were dead, so they buried them, and the remaining lifespan was left on the body. Previously, it was a burial in the earth, and the body would slowly decay in the coffin, while the remaining lifespan would also be displayed in other forms. One is corpse ginseng, two is bone mushroom, and three is tai sui. In the past, wealthy people liked to eat ginseng, especially when they were bedridden due to serious illness before death. They consumed ginseng for nourishment, but the seeds of ginseng entered the stomach before being digested, causing people to lose breath. The body rots in the coffin, and the ginseng seeds begin to absorb nutrients from the body to take root and sprout, slowly growing until the body is completely turned into white bone. The ginseng shrinks, self-dries, and falls on top of the white bone. The Lee family has been collecting bones for generations, opening countless coffins, and only encountering five corpse ginseng. The growth of bone fungi is similar to that of ginseng, but the main body prefers to eat mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms, and other fungi before death. During the decay process of the body after death, bone fungi will be produced and attached to the bones. But unlike corpse ginseng, corpse ginseng automatically shrinks and dries, which can be stored for a long time. The shelf life of fungi is too short, from growth to decay, only a few tens of days before and after. If they are not picked before they rot, they will rot away. So bone mushrooms are also rare and hard to come by, and the difficulty of obtaining them is similar to that of corpse ginseng. They have to happen to coincide with these few decades on the day of coffin opening, but there is no such thing as a coincidence in the world. The last one is Tai Sui. In this life, it is quite common to see reports of someone picking up a Tai Sui in a certain place, weighing several pounds and worth several million yuan. Tai Sui, also known as Meat Lingji, experts say it's a slime mold complex. My grandfather said these experts are farting, it's a lump of meat that has a lifespan but no lifespan. Wherever Tai Sui was discovered, people had died there, and they were the ones who died before reaching the end of their lifespan. Why can Tai Sui nourish the body and mind, prolong life, because it itself carries young longevity? So my grandfather picked me up at the time, and he said it was fortunate that he found me. If it were someone else, even if he picked me up, he would not be able to survive. That's why. Only a bone picker can frequently open coffins and pick up bones, which is reasonable and legal. Only then can I honestly search for these three things to renew my life. If it were for someone else, other professions do not have this condition. The body ginseng accumulated by several generations of the Lee family has been used by Tai Sui on me, including the Feng Shui treasure land accumulated by the five generations of people's luck, which has also been exchanged for in-laws. I once asked my grandfather, is it worth investing everything in the Lee family to save me, a person who has no blood relationship with the Lee family. My grandfather sighed and said that it was the fate of the Lee family, as well as mine. The Lee family has been collecting bones for generations, observing feng shui, exploring the mysteries of heaven, and suffering from heavenly retribution, resulting in a decline in population. In his generation, he was left alone, unmarried, and without offspring. He thought the Lee family would end up in his hands, but who could have imagined that I, who was also sentenced by fate, would be found in the Fusho Garden. He said that the Great Road is fifty, the heavens are 40.9, and people are one of them. I am that one. He tied the fortune of the Lee family to me. I live, the Lee family prospers, I die, and the Lee family is destroyed. This is a big gamble. Since picking me up, my grandfather has always taken me with him every time he comes to work. I have been influenced by him since I was young, and with his careful guidance, I have gradually entered the profession of bone pickers and inherited his legacy. And every time I open the coffin and pick up bones, if these three things appear in the coffin, my grandfather will make me count out to the tomb owner to thank him, because this is borrowing someone else's longevity to extend my life. Such great kindness should be appreciated. So, I borrowed the life of the dead and survived until the age of 18.
My 18th birthday is still a month away, but my grandfather is not doing well. Before I passed away, my grandfather called me over and told me about the aftermath. One is about my marriage. The second is about the mission of the Lee family. The third is to investigate the true cause of death of my Grand Duke. After explaining it, he handed me the skeletal calculation book passed down by the Lee family. In addition, there is also half a silver dollar. He asked me to keep it well. If one day someone comes looking for the other half of the silver dollar, let me act on my own and distinguish between enemies and friends. He said he used to be friends, but only for eternal benefits, without eternal friends. For the sake of benefits, friends can become enemies in the blink of an eye. All right, I've explained everything to you. Grandpa can leave with peace of mind. After speaking, my two eyes looked at me with a bright and lively expression and said, Time flies so fast. Eighteen years have passed in the blink of an eye. When I picked you up, it was only a little bit, but now it has turned into a young man. M.O. by, let Grandpa take a good look at you again. After speaking, Grandpa struggled to lift his hand and reached out to my head, but due to lack of strength, his hand was very slow. I quickly lowered my head and took the initiative to lean in his hand, like when I was a child, being pampered by my grandfather and touching my head. But before I could lean my head up, Grandpa's hand suddenly hung down and remained motionless. Grandpa. I couldn't help but cry and shout out. Grandpa left Grandpa left, and my faith also collapsed. I have never been so carefree in venting my emotions and crying loudly. Until I was exhausted and tears dried up, I fell asleep lying on my grandfather's body. For two consecutive days, I didn't eat or drink, and I didn't know I was hungry, so I stayed by my grandfather's side. On the third day, as instructed by my grandfather, I took off his shirt and found that his back was indeed covered in tattoos. I took out my phone and took a picture of the map on my back. I changed into a funeral gown for my grandfather, and it was only then that I began mourning. I sent it to the five families who were engaged to me. Five families have also come, including some people who have received help from my grandfather. The five family members helped me with everything and managed my grandfather's affairs very well. They were really attentive. I also saw the five girls who had never been masked before. Not to mention, each one is more beautiful than the other, and each has its own characteristics. After seeing off my grandfather, everyone also left, and those five families also left. They didn't mention my marriage to their girl at all. I thought it might not be my birthday, and now it's also during my grandfather's funeral, so it's not suitable to mention it. Let's wait, anyway, in less than a month, there must be an explanation for these five marriages that were exchanged for the luck of the Lee family's five generations. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Repentance of Marriage You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Repentance of Marriage I finally managed to make it to my 18th birthday. At 8 o'clock this morning, five luxury cars arrived at my doorstep on time. Five family members got off the car and greeted each other, chatting and laughing as they entered my house. Each family consists of three people, but it is not a family of three, but in addition to the father and daughter, there is also an accompanying person. These personnel appear to be knowledgeable individuals, obviously hired by the five families as feng shui masters, with one family still hiring a Taoist. They first incense my grandfather before sitting down, and I brewed tea for them. But no one picked up the teacup, and everyone's eyes were filled with disgust. They are all of high value now and look down on the rough tea I brewed. We came here eighteen years ago, and you should know the agreement between our five families and your grandfather, said Li Changqing, the parent of the Li family, first. I know. I nodded. Five girls lined up in front of me. They looked at me up and down, their eyes different, curious with a hint of disgust. Jean Yonga. Li Muzi. Wang Xiaokuan. Di Tingting. Shi Xiaolan. Five girls said their names one after another. 
Five parents looked at each other, and the experts they invited also made eye contact, each calculating in their own hearts. M.O. Bai, it's like this. Li Changqing glanced at me as he said these words, we brought our respective daughters over here to meet you, young people. It's okay to make friends, but as for the doll wedding you ordered, I'll let it go. Uncle Li, what do you mean by this? I was quite surprised. It was just a matter of repentance, and judging from this demeanor, the five families clearly agreed. M.O. Bai, don't worry, sit down and listen to Uncle Li analyze for you. See if what I'm saying makes sense. Li Changqing pulled my arm and gestured for me to sit down, with him resting on my shoulder as if he knew him very well. He said to me in the tone of an elder, M.O. Bai, you are also eighteen years old, an adult and sensible. We are now in a new society, and marriage also emphasizes free love. It's not like the arranged marriage of the older generation, is it? They can't all refuse. Let's tie them up and marry you. This is illegal, right? I nodded very cooperatively, and when I nodded, everyone else's faces showed a hint of joy. Nowadays, marriage emphasizes mutual love and agreement. Marriage is built on the voluntary and deep emotional foundation of both parties, don't you think so? Li Changqing asked me again. Yes, I nodded again as I cooperated. Seeing me nod again, others secretly rejoiced, thinking that I was young and easy to deceive, as if Li Changqing had already grasped me. M.O. Bai, they are all the same age as you, and they are all studying. They have not yet reached the age of marriage, and they all have their own ideals and beautiful life plans. Before coming, we all asked them what they meant, and they all didn't agree with this marriage. Li Changqing pretended to be very helpless and said, but all five of us have received the kindness of your grandfather's search for dragons and acupoints. This kindness cannot be ignored. After your grandfather passed away, our five families have been busy helping your grandfather with his affairs, and the whole village is envious, isn't it? Well, I took a deep breath and said, thank you all. No need to thank you, this is all due. As for you, we definitely can't ignore you. We have already arranged it for you. Li Changqing gave a glance to the parents of the Shi family. The parents of the Shi family took out a red notebook from their bag and pushed it in front of me, saying, Our Shi family is engaged in real estate. This is a villa in our company's property, Pancher Yayuan, with a total area of 360 square meters. I'll give it to you. He glanced at my house and said, the old house you are currently living in is still a tiled house. It has been in disrepair for a long time and is almost a dangerous house. This is Uncle Shur's heart. Please accept it. Li Changqing took over and said, your house has not been renovated yet. Our Li family specializes in customizing furniture. Uncle Li has provided you with the best materials for the fine decoration of your house and all the indoor furniture and appliances. The parents of the Wang family took out a car key and a green notebook from their pocket and handed them to me, saying, This is the Kian I just picked up from the 4S store, with your name written on it. This is your wedding car. The parents of the Jean family continued, We will help you find a suitable girl for a blind date. If you are interested, our five families will help you arrange your wedding. The bride price, gold and silver jewelry, and wedding expenses that the bride needs will be covered by Uncle Jean. Finally, the parents of the D family smiled and said, M.O. Bai, when you look at the wedding house, wedding car, wedding, and even your partner, all five of our families have arranged for you. Now we are one job away. You followed your grandfather to learn bone picking, but now we are all practicing cremation, and this skill is of little use. Our D family is engaged in the funeral industry, which happens to match your skills. Uncle D has arranged a lifelong job for you to be responsible for a crematorium under his banner. What do you think? As soon as these words were spoken, everyone looked at me. As long as I nodded and agreed, their regret for marriage had truly been achieved. I am young, but I am not foolish. Just this little thing wants to dismiss me. 
I glanced at the five families and shook my head with a bitter smile. I really put in a lot of effort. The wedding house, wedding car, partner, wedding, and work are all fully booked. If it were someone else, they would have promised thankfully long ago. But I'm not anyone else, I'm Li Mabai. I am a living dead person without tomorrow or longevity. I don't care at all about these external things. Moreover, these five marriages were based on the fortune of our Li family's five generations and were discovered as five feng shui treasures. Compared to these five feng shui treasures, this seemingly tempting condition is nothing. These five marriages were made between my grandfather and the parents of your five families, and I can't decide on my own, I said with a smack. As soon as these words were spoken, several parents exchanged glances. But your grandfather passed away. Li Changqin glanced at my grandfather's portrait. If my grandfather is still alive, would your five families dare to repent? I asked them in reverse. You. Li Changqing's face instantly pulled down and he said, We're not here to discuss with you, but to inform you of our decision. We've given you so much, and your life has been fulfilled. This is something that many people have been striving for throughout their lives, and our five families have solved it for you in an instant. Yes, M.O. Bai, don't be shameless. Do you think these are not enough? It's okay, if you think they are not enough, you can bring up any conditions. As long as we can do it, we will agree to you. Young people should not be insatiable with greed. Others joined in one after another, some even yelled, shook their faces, slapped the table, and forced me to accept their conditions. Although I am young, I am not a kid. I have been following my grandfather since I was young, and I have never seen anyone like him. How could I be scared by these few people? End of this chapter Chapter 4 Young Taoist You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Young Taoist Have you all brought your marriage letters? I asked the five parents. I brought it. Several people spoke in unison and took out their wedding papers from their pockets. Well, just bring it with you. If you don't agree to the marriage, you can burn the marriage certificate in front of my grandfather's portrait, give it to my grandfather, and tell him the reason, so that he can know the reason. I turned to look at my grandfather's portrait. Burn it. I was originally here to withdraw, but since his grandfather passed away, I'll burn it for him. Three parents have already walked up to my grandfather's portrait, pulled out a lighter, and are ready to light it. But Li Changqing and Di Huayu from the Di family exchanged a glance. Li Changqing squinted at me and asked, M.O. Bai, did your grandfather give any instructions before he passed away? Upon hearing Li Changqing's question, the three parents who were preparing to light the fire immediately stopped and turned their heads to look at me. I haven't waited for an answer yet. Li Muzi, however, said displeased, Dad, what are you talking to him about? We have received some kindness from his grandfather. Not only did we send him away, but we also considered buying him a house, a car, finding a wife, and arranging work. What else does he need? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Yes, maybe all five of us were guided by his grandfather and had some luck, but isn't it all thanks to everyone's hard work and hard work that our five families were able to succeed today? The saying goes, three parts are destined, seven parts rely on hard work. This is something we worked hard for ourselves, and has something to do with their Li family. Anyway, I have already made it clear to him whether he likes it or not. If he accepts it, everyone will be happy. If he doesn't, we will save money. As for those so dot called feudal superstitions, I don't believe them anyway. We are the successors of the new society, believe in science, don't believe them. And each of us has our own master's guidance, who can break through his grandfather's tricks. These few girls spoke up one after another, and those feng shui masters were also proud. Only the young Taoist among them closed his eyes and remained silent, as if meditating. I have observed the so dot called master feng shui masters of the other four schools, and they are nothing but money mongers with little skill. 
Only this Taoist who closes his eyes and nourishes his mind is a bit difficult for me to see through. Li Changqin took advantage of the hot iron and urged me, M.O. Bai, does your grandfather have any instructions? I shrugged and glanced at everyone present before slowly speaking. My grandfather told me before he passed away. What was explained? These people immediately perked up when they heard my grandfather's explanation. He told me that the five wedding letters you gave us at that time were pasted on my bed board by him, with a brown mat pressed on top. He asked me to open the brown mat today and see which girl's name is still on those five wedding letters, then choose who. After I finished speaking, these five people looked at each other and then at their own feng shui master. Li Changqing said, it's okay to take a look. Right, right, it's okay to take a look, the other four parents agreed, huddled together to keep warm and encouraged each other. If all five of our women's names are still there, how would you choose? Yeah, if it's still there, why don't we go back to the origin? We just want to see, and we don't get married. If our names are no longer there, it's fate. Anyway, they are already determined to regret their marriage, but they are also worried about my grandfather leaving a backup and want to see what it is. They urged me and followed me into my room. I held the blanket and pillow to one side, then opened the brown mat and arranged five wedding letters in a row, which caught my eye. The five wedding letters were originally written in red paper and ink, but after 18 years, the red paper has faded and the characters on it have become yellow ghosting. These people all gathered around, carefully scrutinizing the wedding papers and searching for their own ones. Ha ha ha, the characters in our Lee family are so blurry that we can't see them anymore. Musi's name is gone, so we don't have to marry anymore. Li Changqing couldn't conceal his inner joy and laughed heartily, speaking his heart out. Our Wang family is the same, and Xiao Quan's name has faded and is no longer visible. Xiao Quan doesn't need to marry anymore. Our Xiaolan's name is also moldy on this red paper, and the place where Xiao Quan's name is written happens to be broken, so we can't see the name anymore. Our Jean and D families can't find our daughter's name either. Everyone is happy. This group of people cheered and cheered, each with a smile on their face. M.O. Bai, since it's fate, we can only follow it. It's not that we broke our promise, it's that the heavens won't allow you to marry the daughters of our five families. Okay, then you guys go burn the wedding book, I said, accepting it generously. The five parents took out their marriage certificates and walked up to my grandfather's portrait, each taking out a lighter. Li Changqing said to my grandfather's portrait, Li Lao, we came to the appointment today. As per your instructions, we lifted the brown mat on the M.O. by bed and found that the wedding papers were all moldy and had no words on them. Since it is fate's will, we can only comply with it and return the wedding papers to you. Your M.O. by's engagement with our five daughters will be cancelled. Right, right, Li Lao. Although we may not be able to become our own family, we are also good friends of your Li family. Thanks to your kind guidance back then, all five of us have been thriving and thriving in our respective industries. Don't worry, we won't neglect our reputation. Right, right, Li Lao. Our five families will help Mo Bai find a suitable girl, let them get married, continue the Li family's tradition, and even buy him a car, house, and work arrangements so that he can have a worry-free life. These parents agreed and prepared to light the fire and burn the marriage certificate. At this moment, the Taoist who was closing his eyes and recuperating suddenly opened his eyes and said loudly, Wait a minute, the other four of your families won't marry. Ting Ting from the D family will marry. Everyone suddenly turned around and looked at the young Taoist. Not to mention the other four families, the father and daughter of the D family are also confused. The parents of the D family walked quickly to the side of the young Taoist and whispered, Master, why did you say this? Don't ask, do as I say. The young Taoist didn't tremble and looked at the other four families, saying, since your four families have quit, let's burn the marriage certificate. The D family is willing to marry their daughter to the Li family, marry M.O. Bai, and complete the engagement. This. The other parents were puzzled and looked at each other, 
then turned to their own feng shui master. The feng shui masters from the other four families also looked confused. They were originally scammers who were just making money. They thought they were just going through the motions today, but unexpectedly, an unsociable Taoist appeared. They all pretended to be calculating something, and after a long time of calculation, they couldn't figure out why. They all looked at the young Taoist by chance. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Unification of the Five Elements You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Unification of the Five Elements This Taoist, what have you counted? One of the Feng Shui masters asked the young Taoist. The young Taoist just smiled faintly, but he didn't make a sound. This confused everyone, including myself. I also had some doubts about what medicine was sold in the gourd of this Taoist. To make things mysterious, if your D family wants to get married, we will get married. Our other four families are not fake, said another elderly Feng Shui master confidently. Yes, it happens that your D family is in the funeral business, and they are also closely related to the Li family. Since your D family is willing to marry your daughter to M.O. Bai, it just fulfills the previous agreement. One family is engaged, and the other four families' marriages are automatically cancelled. The other four families spoke out one after another. Li Changqing asked Di Chengyu in confusion, didn't it be agreed beforehand? Why did your Di family suddenly change their mind? Di Qingyu also looked innocent and said, I also felt sudden, but I listened to our Taoist priest. Okay, if your Di family likes to get married, then get married. We won't take away the things provided by our four families. Congratulations to you, Di Changqing clasped his fists. Congratulations. Congratulations, Lao Di. Others congratulated the father and daughter of the Di family one after another. The father and daughter were very embarrassed, their faces pale and uncertain, and they both looked at the young Taoist at the same time. The young Taoist looked determined and nodded at the father and daughter. Then the four of us will burn the marriage certificate, Li Changqing took the lead. The four families lit the marriage certificate and threw it into the incinerator. The other four feng shui masters looked up and down at the young Taoist, making sarcastic remarks. Having no hair on one's mouth and not being able to handle things firmly, after all, one is still too young to show off to others without much professional skills. Isn't this not delaying the main task of the victim? Your D family has invited such inexperienced Taoist priests to offer sacrifices, I really don't know what you think. I'm afraid of wolves at the beginning and tigers at the end, but I can't achieve great things. If Li Fuxing is still alive, then we naturally have to be cautious. But now that Li Fuxing is dead, are you still afraid of nothing? Can Zhuge really scare away Hui Zhongdo? The young Taoist laughed and ignored the mockery of these half-hearted feng shui masters. I am well aware of the psychology of this Taoist. One can argue among peers, and one can argue with outsiders. That would be foolish. These four feng shui masters are obviously just slackers, not professionals at all, so young Taoists disdain to argue with them. After the other four families have finished burning their wedding papers. I suddenly felt a rolling sensation in my chest, as if the flames of these four wedding books were pressing down on my chest. Immediately after, a cloud of turbid air rushed down my throat, and I opened my mouth and spat out a long stream. The next moment, I saw this turbid energy split into four parts and turned into four colored streamers, rushing towards the four parents who were burning wedding letters. Li Changqing, Jin Buhuan, Wang Kaiyuan, Shi Zhongyu. These flowing lights rushed into the heads of these four people, and their sky immediately became gray, as if covered with a layer of dust. I glanced at the young Taoist and he even looked at the four people with furrowed brows. This Taoist is indeed well versed in profound and unfathomable Taoist practices. On the other hand, the other four feng shui masters were all proud, with an arrogant smile on their faces. Okay, M.O. Bai, we're leaving. When are you going to have your wedding? 
please send us an invitation in advance and we'll be there on time. Mmm. I chuckled and watched as the four families went out. They got into their respective cars and, accompanied by the roar of the engine, flew away. After the four families left, Di Qingyu asked the young Taoist and whispered, Taoist, the person has left. Can you tell me why now? Di Dingting looked up at me, unable to tell what expression it was. I feel waves of burning sensation in my chest, my whole body is burning. The young Taoist did not answer Di Qingyu's question, but instead asked me, how do you feel? My chest is very hot. I took a deep breath. Hot is certain. You can endure it for a while. Originally, the five elements were complete and mutually reinforcing, but now only the fire sha remains in your body. You will naturally feel a burning sensation, explained the young Taoist. I see. I understood instantly, and the other four demons were taken away by the four families because they regretted their marriage. Now only the D family has stayed, we need to quickly prepare you and Tingting to pay respects and get married. We need to bow to Duke Zhou as soon as possible and ask Tingting to help you reconcile the fire and evil in your body. The young Taoist said again. Taoist, you're so anxious about me. Tell me quickly, what's going on? I listen to everything from you, but after you make a decision, you have to tell me why you're doing it. Di Qing Yu was so anxious. The young Taoist asked me, can you take out the things your grandfather left? I was taken aback, isn't this young Taoist too divine? Surprisingly, my grandfather left something behind. I touched my pocket and it turned out that my grandfather had indeed left a hand behind, which was the red envelope he gave me before his death. It was now in his pocket. He confessed that only if all five families repent of their marriage can they show it to everyone. Now four families are regretting their marriage, and one family is not regretting their marriage. Should I take it out? But on the other hand, it is not allowed to show it to the four families who have regretted their marriage, and it is not said that it cannot be shown to the family who stayed behind. I took out the red envelope from my pocket and said, my grandfather once said that if all five of my family members regretted their marriage, they would let me take it out. Now that your D family has agreed to get married, this thing can be shown to you, but not to the other four families. Of course. The young Taoist looked at the red envelope in my hand with anticipation on his face. The eyes of the father and daughter of the D family shone brightly, secretly admiring their own expert Nyo, and this was all calculated. I slowly opened the red envelope and reached out to take out the contents inside. It's a note, also a red paper. I glanced at the words on it. The five elements return to one. The five elements are unified. What does this mean? The father and daughter of the D family are unsure. I have already guessed the meaning of unifying these five elements. But I'm curious, is this young Taoist really so divine? Can you count my grandfather as having a backup? Surprisingly insisting that D's daughter marry me. Unification of the five elements. Amazing. Mr. Lee's move is indeed amazing. The young Taoist repeatedly praised it and explained to the father and daughter of the D family, the fortune of the Lee family's five generations was originally divided among the engaged five families. Now that the other four families regret their marriage, they can no longer absorb the fortune of the Lee family. On the contrary, the fortune they originally absorbed will also be taken back, and all of these fortunes will be bestowed upon the D family. Ah! Upon hearing this explanation, Di Ching Yu was so excited that he almost jumped up and loudly said to me, Mary, we Ding Ting will marry you, and we will immediately arrange for a wedding ceremony. The sooner, the better. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Half Silver Dollar You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Half Silver Dollar Mr. D, Ting Ting, you can go back and arrange your wedding first. For a Chinese-style wedding, just pay respects and get married. They are not old enough to obtain a certificate, the young Taoist explained to the father and daughter of the D family. Okay, okay, I'll arrange it right away. 
Di Ching Yu was overjoyed and asked, And you, Taoist? I have some things to explain to him oh bai. Once we finish handling them, I'll go back. Okay. Di Ching Yu took Di Ting Ting's hand and strode out. Before leaving, Di Ting Ting even turned around and glanced at me. I saw her gaze, but I couldn't guess what she was thinking. There is only me and this young Taoist left in the room. After the father and daughter of the D family drove away, the young Taoist suddenly raised his hand and threw a clang sound. Half a silver dollar spun rapidly on the table. He gave me a deep smile, and I was completely stunned. He is actually the one who owns that half silver dollar. I picked up the silver coins on the table, then took out half of them from my pocket and pieced them together. The perfect match between the pattern and the cut indicates that the token is genuine. No wonder he would help me so much. I don't speak, poor Taoist. After speaking, I picked up the Ziwuju. I've seen a master before. I clasped my fists and saluted. My grandfather told me before his death that the other person used to be a friend, but not necessarily now. They could be friends or enemies, because there is no eternal friend, only eternal benefits. So I was also on guard in my heart. He glanced at me and asked, didn't your grandfather explain it to you before he passed away? Yes, I nodded. Well, how do you feel? He saw me still covering my chest with my hand. My chest still feels a burning sensation, my mouth is dry and my tongue is dry, and I am extremely thirsty. Let me take a look. Zibu stepped forward and reached out to grasp my pulse. He occasionally looked at my face and frowned into a lump. Suddenly, he asked me, Are you a living dead person? Yes, I answered truthfully. Your lifespan is over, now borrowing someone else's lifespan to live on, and he hesitated to speak. You speak frankly. Before the five of them, were you engaged to someone else? Ah. What? I don't know, do I, didn't I? My grandfather didn't tell me. I looked confused, how could he suddenly say such a thing? Yes, I can see it, Zibuyu said confidently. I don't even know myself, how did you see it? Just now, the five families were all here, and I've seen the girls from the other four families. But what surprised me was that these girls from these four families, like Di Ting Ting, showed no signs of sharing the damage of the five elements' evil energy with you. Zi Buyu didn't hide anything and said, Your grandfather booked five marriages for you just to let the girls from these five families share the damage of the five elements' evil energy in your body, right? Yes. His words truly amazed me. The Taoist in front of me was so young, yet his path was so profound and unfathomable. And now that you are living well again, it indicates that another girl is silently enduring all this for you, bearing all the harm of the five ghosts for you. This sounded very heart-wrenching and inexplicably heartbroken. There was a girl who had silently worked for me for eighteen years, but I didn't know anything. I asked, tell me, who is she, and where is she? I have an impulse, I am eager to see this girl. I don't know who she is, let alone where she is. I just think there must be such a girl. Zi Buyu frowned and said, If you believe me, I can help you do some divination. Okay, I agreed without hesitation. How to put it, I have a deep sense of guilt and heartache towards this girl. Silently enduring eighteen years of suffering for me, but I have no idea at all. I want to find her, give her everything I can, and make up for her. Can you give me your birth date and eight characters, and then bring me a piece of red paper? Also, can you find the bowl you used to eat when you were a child? Yes, my grandfather has been keeping my bowl for me. I'll go get it right away. Okay, remember to put a bowl of rice in the bowl. Okay. I went and took out the precious small bowl, which was full of rice. I took red paper, along with a brush and ink, and gave it to Zibu. Without hesitation, Z picked up something and started writing. I saw that he was actually writing a marriage letter, writing down all the eight characters of my birthday. 
The woman's side is also full, so we have to leave her name blank because we don't know what the other person's name is. After writing it, place the wedding book on the table and wait for the ink to dry. Zibuyu walked over and closed the door. Then he took out half of a candle from his pocket and lit it. The room was very dark, and when the candle was lit, it emitted a faint light, making the atmosphere particularly eerie and eerie. I sat facing him, with a square table 80 centimeters apart in the middle. In the middle of the table was the wedding book, with a bowl of rice pressed on top of it. Zibuyu took out three more square Kong five emperor's coins from his arms. The five emperor's coin is a copper coin circulating during the reign of the five emperors of the Qing dynasty. He looked at me and said, from your appearance, I see that your life is not long. Just like this candle, it can be extinguished at any time. I guess the girl who is blocking the disaster for you is about to run out of strength, so we need to find her quickly. With his words, I became even more anxious and anxious, urging, okay, come here quickly. Don't worry, because there is an engagement between you and her, so I tried using the marriage book to calculate the information of this girl. As for whether I can calculate it, and how much I can calculate, it depends on the heavens. After Zabuyu finished speaking, he closed his eyes and began to breathe. I imitated his appearance and closed my eyes to adjust my mood. I have also learned about divination, and some are more solemn, including bathing, changing clothes, fasting, and praying. But there's no time now. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Self-Theft and Guardianship You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Self-Theft and Guardianship About ten minutes later, I heard Zibu speak, Give me your hand. I opened my eyes and extended my right hand. I saw Zi Buyu first place the three five emperors coins on top of the bowl of rice, arranged in a straight line shape. He exchanged a glance with me, indicating that I was about to start, and I nodded. He held the bowl of rice in his left hand and pinched a seal formula in his right hand, reciting, Fate is the river of destiny. Fate is the first opportunity, standing on the brink of death. Please guide your way to life. After finishing speaking, just pour the bowl of rice upside down onto the wedding letter. Amazingly, not a single grain of rice ran out. He took out a silver needle, pinched the belly of my right ring finger, and pierced it with a silver needle. I feel a sharp pain and my fingertips are a bit hot. Blood dripped down one by one and landed at the bottom of the bowl. The bottom of the bowl was concave until the entire bottom was covered with blood, and then I stopped. Zibuyu pinched the seal formula with both hands, and finally picked up his sword finger with his right hand, pointing towards the bottom of the bowl and shouting loudly, Get up! Kaka kaka the whole bowl suddenly shook and made a clicking sound. I feel the whole table shaking. It's so magical. This is the first time I've seen real Taoism. I guess the three five emperors coins in the bowl were controlled and kept jumping, but the bowl was full of rice, so the three coins kept hitting the rice. I saw grains of rice jumping out of the gaps and scattered on the wedding letter with every beat. The half of the candle on the table was still standing upright, but the faint flame kept shaking, as if it could be extinguished at any moment. The whole process took about a few minutes, but it was thrilling and thrilling, and I felt like a few hours had passed. Zibu's forehead had already shed beads of sweat. The shaking speed of the last bowl slowed down until it finally came to a stop. Without hesitation, Z sat on the bench, breathing heavily and his face turned much paler. He took a deep breath and reached out to carefully remove the bowl. A magical scene appeared and I was so shocked that I opened my mouth wide. There is not much rice left under the bowl, but these rice are displayed with three characters. Mu Nanping. Mu Nanping, is this the name of that girl? I looked at these three words in surprise. Although they were not so regular and a bit abstract, I could tell they were these three words. I finally figured it out, but I don't know anything else except for the name. It's just that my knowledge is a bit shallow, Zibu sighed. Taoist, you are already very impressive, I comforted, 
but having only one name is also difficult. Although this name is very special, our country has a large population and a high rate of duplicate names. Just relying on one name to find someone is like looking for a needle in a haystack. I know from the D family that you made an engagement with the five families at the full moon, right? Zibu asked me. That's right. I nodded. That means the engagement time between Moon Nanping and you was definitely before your full moon. If it wasn't for your grandfather's engagement, it must have been before your grandfather picked you up. How many days were you then? With such a reminder, the clue becomes even clearer. Isn't it just a few days from my birth to being abandoned that I got engaged to someone? My biological parents got engaged to me, isn't it? It's possible. But I have no idea who my parents are, where to find them. Thinking of being abandoned by my biological parents in the cemetery, I feel very sad in my heart. I really want to ask, why is it? I am in good health, without any disabilities or deformities, and I am still a boy. Why should I be abandoned in the cemetery, completely giving me no way out? Perhaps you can go to the place where you were abandoned to find clues, Zibu reminded me. Fu show you on. Zibu Yu nodded with deep meaning. Okay, I'll take you to take a look now. Okay. I rode the motorcycle left by my grandfather and sped towards Fusho Garden with Zibu. Fusho Garden was the unit where my grandfather lived before his death. All the bone picking work in the Fusho Garden is done by my grandfather. Of course, after I took over, I have also been doing it here for many years. So the security guard saw me and opened the door, allowing me to ride my bike into the cemetery. The graves in Fusho Garden are mostly old graves that have been around for several years to several decades, and they are all purchased by families with money. But one of them is an ancient tomb from the Qing dynasty, which stands an indescribable monument and is still a protected unit in our city. The place where I was abandoned is right next to this ancient tomb. Every time I come to Fusho Garden to pick up bones and pass by this ancient tomb, I stop and stop. I don't know why, but whenever I stop in front of this ancient tomb, I feel a sense of similarity and peace of mind. I don't know how to describe that feeling, it's like a peaceful feeling that arises in my heart after wandering around the noisy world outside for a long time and returning to my hometown. I arrived at this unmarked ancient tomb with Zibuyu. After getting off the car, Zibuyu looked up and down at the wordless monument. He rubbed his chin and looked at the grave bags of the ancient tomb, wondering what he was pondering. M.O. Bai, you were just abandoned by the side of this tomb, weren't you? Zibuyu suddenly turned his head and asked me. That's right. I nodded and said, I have confirmed with my grandfather, including several senior employees of Fushuiwen, that this is the place where they were all present at the time. Do you feel anything different every time you come to this ancient tomb? Not to mention, every time I come to this ancient tomb, I feel peaceful and very at ease. When I used to be in a bad mood, I would come here and sit for a whole day. If I have any worries, I would also confide them to the wordless monument. Once I speak them out, my heart feels much better. I didn't hide it, in order to find out the truth. This is actually a secret in my heart that no one knows, not even my grandfather. I am also afraid of being laughed at, or that I am sick. Whenever I am unhappy, I run into the cemetery and confide my feelings to the tombstone. We need to dig it up and take a look, Zibu said before deciding. How can this be? This is an ancient tomb, a key cultural relic protection unit at our city level. I have been working at Fushuiwen for several years, and Fushuiwen attaches great importance to this ancient tomb. Every day, people come to inspect here, afraid that tomb robbers will steal this ancient tomb. Now you want me to dig it myself. If you don't dig it up, you won't find the truth, Zibuyu looked at me and said, you decide for yourself. I hesitated. Digging an ancient tomb is illegal. The key is that I have a special emotional attachment to your tomb. Going to dig it now is destroying it, and I am not willing to let it go. I don't want to dig it myself, but I have a way. 
After weighing, I made a decision. I don't have a lifespan, maybe I'll die tomorrow, but I want to find out the truth. What's the solution? Zibu asked me. This method is a bit damaging, also known as self-theft. In the past, some archaeological teams wanted to dig ancient tombs and achieve some political achievements, but the country had clear regulations that did not allow them to actively excavate intact ancient tombs. Therefore, they came up with a bad idea. The night before, they had their own people pretend to be tomb robbers and dig a hole in the tomb. The next day, they reported to the higher authorities that the tomb had been stolen. If a stolen hole was found, rescue excavation should be carried out in a timely manner, and the higher authorities approved it. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Iguan Tomb You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Iguan Tomb This is the truth, my grandfather told me. He has been in this industry for decades and knows a lot. It's really damaging, these people are even worse than tomb raiders. Zibu touched his chin and asked me, so you want to use this trick too? Well, when it gets dark, I'll quietly dig a thief's hole here. Tomorrow, Fusho Garden will discover it. The Cultural Relics Bureau will immediately come and excavate the ancient tomb. As an employee of Fusho Garden, I can enter the park to observe and see what's inside the tomb. Okay. This is also a good solution. Z and I went home without saying a word. That night, I blackened out and went to Fusho Garden, where I dug a thief's hole next to the ancient tomb. I am very familiar with Fusho Garden, not only with the terrain, but also with the daily routine of the patrol officers, so everything went smoothly. As expected, the next day, the security guard at Fusho Garden discovered the stolen cave and reported it to the company. The company then reported it to the Cultural Relics Bureau. Soon, a group of archaeologists arrived. They were allowed to carry out salvage excavations on this unmarked ancient tomb. I just mixed in the crowd and watched. When the grave was dug, a white coffin was revealed. As soon as I saw the white coffin, my heart suddenly felt uncomfortable. There are basically five colors for coffins. Natural color, gold, red, black, and white. Ordinary people are made of natural wood and painted with a layer of varnish, also known as plain coffins. This type of coffin is cheap and commonly used by ordinary people. Red coffins are usually used to bury elderly people who have passed away, and because it is a joyful funeral, they are painted with red paint. A golden coffin is used by people of wealth and power, showcasing the identity, status, and wealth of the owner. Black coffins are used to bury those who died abnormally, such as those who died unexpectedly in car accidents. As for this white coffin, those who have never been married before and have no offspring use it. This is also the reason why I feel uncomfortable in my heart. They don't have any descendants, perhaps it was a friend who helped bury them, and they have already been buried for safety. But now I have resorted to a malicious tactic, allowing these bastards to dig her out. When the coffin was pulled out of the grave and the lid was opened, the archaeologists exclaimed in surprise, and then a disappointed expression appeared on their faces. Alas, Bai is busy with work, it's a tomb of clothes and hats. No wonder there is no inscription on the monument. It turns out that no one was buried inside. What, the entire tomb? Many people approached, and I also took a closer look. There is a white robe at the bottom of the coffin, spread out flat at the bottom. It looks like a wedding dress, and at the top of the coffin, there is a long hair that is scattered at the bottom of the coffin, but it should be tied together when buried. This can be judged as a woman. The female attire tomb is a set of clothes worn during her lifetime, along with jewelry worn on her head before her death, such as hairpins, but obviously this attire tomb does not have it, it is just a strand of long hair. If it's a male, it's clothing, plus a hat. There are no other burial objects in the coffin except for these two. No wonder the archaeological team is disappointed. There is no archaeological value, let's call it a day. The leader greeted and asked the team members to call it a day. 
They turned to our park staff and said, you have arranged for personnel from Fusho Garden to bury this tomb of clothing and hats back. Okay. In the end, this task fell on me. I just buried the coffin back, but I brought this white veil and long hair back. A typical coffin emits a foul odor, but this piece of clothing emits a strange fragrance, which is very pleasant. After returning home, I explained the process to Zibu. Zibuyu also carefully studied the clothes and the hair, and finally came to a conclusion. That is the person who first betrothed me, and that is the owner of this hair. I also felt surprised at the time. I asked him, didn't you say that my betrothal partner is also a living dead person? The hair in this tomb must be dead, how could it be her? Zibuyu said indifferently, a living dead person is also a type of dead person. As soon as these words were spoken, my heart was hit hard. So I can also be considered a dead person. I put away this white gauze dress and hair, folded them neatly, and put them in a shoe box. I said to the shoe box, if you can sense me, then give me a dream tonight. Perhaps I truly sensed that that night, I had an incredibly real dream. Dreams, everyone has done them before. But usually after waking up, the scenes, people, and things encountered in the dream are mostly blurry. But the dream I had last night was incredibly real. Realistic to the point where I doubt whether it's a dream or in reality. In my dream, there is a bright light ahead. A girl stood in front of me, with her back to me. She was wearing a white veil, with long black hair that reached her waist, covering her full buttocks. Her entire back was the kind that any man would like. I am very certain that the clothes she is wearing are the ones I brought back. And her long hair is the same as that strand of hair, black and shiny I also remember every conversation I had with her very clearly. Are you looking for me? This was the first sentence she said to me, her voice was very pleasant and a bit cold. Mu Nanping. I exclaimed in confusion. Yes, it's me. I asked you, why did you dig up my attire tomb? She didn't turn back and asked me coldly. Are you a human or a ghost? Why is there a tomb of clothing in clothing? I frowned slightly and asked her. Don't ask, sooner or later you will know. She remained so aloof. That's silent. You have an engagement with me, right? I asked. Yes, she said two more words very briefly. When did we get engaged? I asked again. The night you were abandoned in my attire tomb. Who helped me get engaged? Me. You. I couldn't understand, and I said, you helped me get engaged to you, this. To save you. Help me. I was puzzled. You have been invaded by the five devils, and the five ghosts have taken away your body. Without Yang Shou, the day will be cold and the earth will freeze. If you are not saved, you will undoubtedly die. But there is only one way to save you, and that is to get engaged to you, have a relationship with you, and be able to help you resist the five devils and the severe cold. I see. I suddenly realized. But why did you save me? We are not relatives, not only did you save me, but you also silently endured for eighteen years alone, sheltering me from disasters and suffering. Because the Li family has a mission, we cannot cut off the future. Li Fusheng has no offspring and also hopes to pick up a child to continue his bloodline. Just as you are suitable, I saved you and allowed you to be successfully adopted by him, fulfilling the Li family's mission. Mission. What mission? I pursued. Don't ask, it's time, you naturally know. After thinking for a long time, I didn't know what to say anymore. The impulse to compensate for her suddenly disappeared, because she gave me a feeling so cold and aloof, rejecting the feeling of being thousands of miles away. Thank you. I only said three words. No need to thank you, we are husband and wife. With a buzzing sound in my mind, she said we are husband and wife. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Portrait of Mu Nanping. 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Portrait of Mu Nanping Since we met, it's fate. I have made an engagement with you, and we are husband and wife. I am your wife, and it's only right to save you. As soon as these words were spoken, I was inexplicably moved, and that feeling and impulse returned. Can you turn around? I want to see what you look like. She was stunned for a moment and then fell silent for a while before saying, let me give you a picture. Okay, when? I was a bit anxious. Tomorrow. Okay. I can't wait any longer. There's something you need to complete as soon as possible, she suddenly said. The five families you got engaged to have taken away the fortune of your Lee family for five generations, but they didn't share the damage of the five devils for you. All the damage was borne by me alone. Now that the other four families are regretting their marriage, the Lee family's fortune has been lost in vain. It's impossible for them to be so cheap. What should we do? The other four families all burned their wedding papers. Find a way to marry the five of them at the same time, she continued. Ah. But in today's society, we can only marry one wife and obtain a certificate from one person. I didn't ask you to obtain the certificate from them, but according to the previous wedding, we will marry them and get married. Is this? Okay. Why not? I am already married to you, and you want me to marry other women. You. I asked you to marry them, but I didn't ask you to reconcile with them. Of course, I won't stop you from trying to reconcile, after all, having three wives and four concubines is also normal. No round house, no round house. I shook my head repeatedly. Then you should do it as soon as possible. Okay, I agreed at once. Okay, that's it. Don't come to me anymore. If I have something to do, I'll come to you. Hmm. Suddenly, a dazzling light appeared in front of her, and Mu Nanping's figure disappeared. Immediately, I opened my eyes and woke up. Everything in the dream is vividly remembered, as if it was not a dream just now, but a conversation in reality. The whole person also instantly became mentally alert and could not fall asleep again. Just outside the window, it's just getting dark and I'm ready to pick up my phone to check the time. Discovered messages and missed calls on the phone. I opened it and saw that it was sent by D Ting Ting. I was busy with work yesterday, and my phone was in a silent state. I didn't expect that I would marry you at last. It was quite sudden, and I didn't have any psychological preparation, but I felt that it was destined to be good. Let me first introduce myself. Because my family is engaged in the funeral industry, I haven't had many friends since I was young. Many people have avoided me and are afraid of making friends with me. Many people will laugh at me or privately discuss me, saying that my family earns money from dead people and the money earned is not clean. Many students' parents also don't allow them to play with me or get too close to me, which has shaped my current personality. I don't like to talk or socialize with people. I feel like I'm psychologically sick and need someone to enlighten me, because I've been under the scrutiny of my peers since I was young, and those unpleasant words have led me to not eat meat since I was young. It's not that I don't want to eat it, but that I dare not eat it. Every time I see meat, I always think that the money for buying meat is dead people's money, and the dishes seem to be filled with dead people's meat. When I smell the meat, I feel nauseous. If you're busy, get busy first. Remember to reply to me when you have time. Although we're getting married, we still need to get to know each other. I sighed, this is the voice that D. Ting Ting confided in me. I can deeply understand this experience. The adults in the small village have not allowed their children to play with me. On the one hand, my grandfather is a bone picker, and most importantly, everyone says I am a dead child who crawled out of the grave. The disasters that the village has suffered are all on my shoulders. They think I am a broom, they see me walking around and see me as an unknown person. I have developed a personality that is not talkative or sociable, just like D Ting Ting. My heart, like hers, is lonely and insecure, and I really hope to have a close friend. 
When my grandfather was here before, I could say anything to him. My grandfather would also enlighten me, so my heart is healthy. I don't want to be like D. Ting Ting, who always thinks when smelling the fragrance of meat. I replied to her message. I had work yesterday and went out to work. I left my phone at home and didn't bring it. When I came back, I was too tired and fell asleep. I only saw the news now. She hasn't replied yet, she should still be sleeping, after all, it's only six o'clock in the morning. I lay in bed, looking at the roof, pondering in my heart. Mu Nanping asked me to quickly get married to the five of them. I agreed to this matter happily, but how could it be so easy to handle? Not to mention the new society, it is not allowed to have multiple wives at the same time. The key is that the other four families have already withdrawn and burned their marriage certificates. How can I make these four families change their minds and agree to marry their daughters to me? How can we say that these five families are all thriving now, and they are also influential figures? It would be embarrassing to have their daughters marry one person at the same time. This wealthy person values face the most. It's a bit absurd to think about marrying five at once. I couldn't sleep anymore and prepared to get up. Suddenly, I turned around and sat up. Suddenly, there is an extra painting on the wall of my room. I quickly walked over and looked carefully, it was a portrait of a beautiful woman. In my dream, Mu Nanping told me he wanted to give me a painting, but I didn't expect to wake up and see it. Did she come to my house just now? Otherwise, how did this painting appear here? In the painting, there is a girl in ancient costume with long hair and flowing clothes. Wearing a long gauze dress, the skirt straps fluttering, and dancing with a sword in hand. Just with a veil over my face, it's hazy and I can't see my facial features clearly. But the heroic aura between the eyebrows is intimidating, not angry but majestic. The image in this painting is very similar to what I saw in my dreams. I only saw her back in my dream, but now in the painting it's a frontal view, but her face is covered. Although I can't see her face clearly, at least I have a complete image in my mind, and I have heard her voice and know her name. I am actually quite satisfied. After considering for a long time, I finally decided to give Zibu a call. My marriage to Di Tingting was arranged by him. Now Mu Nanping wants me to marry four other girls as well. I need to tell him about this and ask his thoughts. The only person I could trust before was my grandfather, but since he passed away, I don't even have anyone to talk to, let alone be trustworthy. But my grandfather gave me half a silver dollar before his death, and Zibu brought the other half with him. And he has been helping me these past two days, gaining my initial trust. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Wedding You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Wedding I called him and the phone was quickly connected. Hello, M.O. Bai, what's going on? There was a silent voice coming from the other end of the phone. Can you come to my house? I have something to tell you. What's up, can't we talk on the phone? I dreamt of Mu Nanping, and she gave me a painting that is now hanging at my house. Ah! Zibu exclaimed in surprise, did you say it was a dream? How come there are still paintings in reality? Are you dreaming or seeing them in reality? Oh, I can't explain it clearly. Come over when you have time. This painting is hanging in my room, you can see for yourself. Okay, I'll be right over. Zibuyu hung up the phone. In less than an hour, Zibuyu drove to my house. When I saw the painting in my room, I told Mu Nanping in my dream, including his request for me to marry five girls at the same time. Although he was surprised, he did not refute. He looked at the painting and muttered, Since Mu Nanping asked you to marry five of them at the same time, you can only do it, but this is not easy to handle. You chose one out of five and chose the D family. The other four families have already divorced, but now you want to marry five at the same time. Can they agree? Although you don't have a certificate and the law allows it, you. Zibuyu also made a mistake. 
I also know this matter is not easy to handle. I won't call you to discuss it. Zibuyu looked at me, feeling a bit conflicted. Then he thought for a moment and said, it's not without a chance. Do you have a way? He said, probably having an idea. The other four families regretted their marriage, and the four devils were taken away by them. It won't be long before something bad happens to these four families. If the four devils' backlash is strong, then the situation will naturally be bigger, and it won't be possible for those four mediocre feng shui masters to solve it. They won't have to ask you and me to help solve it when the time comes. This is not an opportunity. Okay, let's do it this way. When the four evil spirits drifted towards the parents of the four families, I could see clearly that something was bound to happen in these four families. But to help solve it, you can't make a direct request. You need to explain that all these things happened because of divorce. I will reveal the matter of the unification of the five elements to make them more convinced. Okay, I nodded. You can be your groom now with peace of mind. The D family has already prepared almost everything, including the hotel, wedding, and invitation. I'll see which day is better in the next few days. You can pay respects to Ting Ting and get married first, while the other four families take their time. Don't worry. Okay. The next day, D's car came to pick me up. I went to take wedding photos with D Ting Ting. For a moment, my mindset had not yet adjusted, as if I was dreaming. I am well aware that this marriage was rushed. But not to mention, the mood when taking wedding dresses is completely different. It seems like all the troubles have been forgotten. Ting Ting, who has put on makeup, is really beautiful. Originally, she didn't dress up much, but when she put on makeup and put on her wedding dress, Cinderella immediately turned into a little princess. I also saw Ting Ting's heartfelt smile for the first time. Although I'm not very familiar with it yet, my intuition tells me that this girl can handle it. Of course, after putting on makeup and a suit, I look very handsome. The staff at the wedding dress store said we were a perfect match. Although I don't know if they say that to every new couple. But both Ting Ting and I feel very happy. Ting Ting's hair is not long, just a shawl, and she is also quite shy and introverted, not very talkative. But after spending these few hours together, I feel that this girl still has the kind of princess disease that wealthy women have, which gives me a very easy going and friendly feeling. Three days later, it was an auspicious day that Zi Buyu helped us watch. My Chinese wedding with Ting Ting was held at the Qianqi Hotel in Lujiang. The entire floor of the Chinese restaurant in Qianqi Hotel has been wrapped down and a total of 99 tables have been set up. I don't know any of the guests who came, they are all relatives and friends of the D family. The only ones I know are the four families who divorced me. I heard that the four families also tried their best to help with the wedding preparations. The gold and silver jewelry, diamond jewelry, and jade bracelets and rings on Ting Ting's body were all gifts from the Jean family. All the seafood at table 99 is provided by the Wang family, who specialize in seafood. This hotel seems to be a subsidiary of the Shijia family. In front of everyone's attention and amidst the unknown blessings from the four families, D Ting Ting and I got married. After our husband and wife finished bowing, I found that the four families received calls one after another and hurriedly left. I have a premonition that something has happened to these four families. Judging from their hasty departure, it is evident that there has been a significant and challenging matter that needs to be dealt with immediately. As a guest of honor, Zibuyu also saw these four family members hastily leave. He exchanged a glance with me and then left as well. He should have gone to gather information and see what happened to these four families. After the wedding, D Ting Ting and I were sent back home. This is a manor belonging to the D family, with many villas inside, including one belonging to D Ting Ting. Because the villa that the Shur family gave me has not been renovated yet, I cannot go there. That's even less likely to be sent back to the few tiled houses in my hometown. So it can only be arranged here. This makes me feel a bit like a doorstep son. In law, 
especially reserved. The key is that I have become accustomed to living in the countryside and getting used to it. Entering a wealthy family like the D family seems particularly uncomfortable. D Ting Ting and I are sitting by her bed. D Ting Ting's head is still covered with a red cap. There is also a scale next to the bed, which is used to pick red lids. A row of red candles were lit on the table next to them, shining brightly. Under the candle, there is a wine pot and glass made of pure gold. After picking the red cap, I still have to drink a toast. I glanced at the decorations in Di Ting Ting's room and found that they had all been replaced with an antique Chinese style. Whether it's furniture, lighting, doors and windows are all made of mahogany. There are exquisite carved patterns on the redwood, especially the auspicious dragon and phoenix carved on the bedside. The D family has really put in a lot of effort for my marriage to Ting Ting. Although it was only a few short days, the preparation was perfect, and this is the ability to make money. I stood up and walked leisurely to the table, feeling a bit unsteady in my footsteps. It was indeed because I had drunk too much tonight, at 90.9 tables, each table went to toast. I picked up a golden wine jug and poured two glasses of wine into it. It was eight-tenths full. Putting down the wine jug, picking up the golden scale and trembling back to the bedside, he stood in front of D Ting Ting. I gently lifted the red cap with the tail of the scale, but the silk red cap was too slippery and slowly slipped off, falling onto the bed. D Ting Ting looked up and I was suddenly startled. Jin Yonga. Wang Xiao Quan. No, Li Muzi. Why did it turn into Shi Xiaolan's face again soon? Finally, it turned into Di Ting Ting's face again. In just one minute, I saw the faces of five girls. End of this chapter